Oh, how seriously do I take uh, the reviews that I do? Very seriously. Um, anyway, I posted a couple weeks ago a video review on a iOS device plug-in light meter. I did a lot of testing on the unit. Please click the link below. Vindicated on everything. Everybody makes mistakes, so I'm not being really accusatory here. So the manufacturer of that device um, said, uh, if you can see the screenshot, which is on the right side from a couple weeks ago, they said, oh, you're not using it right, you're not using it right, you know, this is a precision calibrated meter, and we're blah, 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 blah. You know, okay, it's great and all, okay? Everybody makes mistakes, okay, let's first admit that. I didn't make a mistake in my review, so. Anyway, the manufacturer said I wasn't using it correctly. I said, we saw your video, you're not using it correctly. I said, oh yeah, I was using it correctly. I know how to use a light meter. I got lots of light meters. So today I got an email, our bad! Um, look at the picture. On the left is the email from today. Now, everybody makes mistakes, okay? I didn't make any mistake. They said, oh, totally our bad, you were right. Um, we screwed up. Specifically, it says we were wrong. I forget the exact words, but you could read it yourself in the picture below. We were wrong. So the guy, the fat, bald, tattooed dude has been using light meters for 20 years, doesn't know what he was doing. That's what you said two weeks ago. No, turns out that's not the case. Turns out to know exactly what the hell I'm doing with a light meter. Not only that, but also how to take calibrated light meters that I already have and use it as a baseline for comparison on your device, which you said I wasn't using correctly. And then my other reviewers are looking at your comment in my video review of that meter going, well, geez, maybe the fat guy doesn't know what he's doing. Turns out I did. Not only that, but they apologized for saying that I didn't know what I was doing. They said there's an error in their device and they can fix it via firmware, which is good. That's wonderful. You know, everybody happy in the end, right? Yeah, so. Before assuming that the guy that knows how to use light meters has been using it for 20 years, many me was wrong. You should have checked your device. But no, 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 you're a big team of scientists and you know, you've got the voltmeters and the soldering guns and the computers laying everywhere. But uh, yeah, you, you trust that more than the guy that knows how to use light meters, meaning me. So I strongly suggest you take a look at the image below. The evidence is 100% clear and lucid. That's how seriously I take my reviews. Uh, accused by the manufacturer of not doing a correct review. And so you're not using the meter correctly, your, your review, which I kind of, I dissed the meter. I'm glad it could be fixed with firmware, but I dissed it. It's still too expensive, but I dissed it. I said, it's not, it's not uh, accurate. This is inaccurate in my video review. That link is also in the picture link below. So, yeah, my video review is 100% vindicated. Yeah.